Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Megan and we've got Stephen. But don't just sit there, my wee cream buns. Come on, let's get moving. We're going to play a game of crazy golf. Now, put this down here. This is our target. OK, Stephen, you can go first. Right, ready, Stephen? Now watch it, Megan, my love. Couldn't have been better, you're fabulous. There you go. Oh, good shot, Megan. Right, well, we've got Megan and we've got Stephen, but someone's missing from home today. Come on, Samson. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Money? It's Samson with Dr. Juno. Hello there. Dr. Juno. Hello, and Samson. Samson, everyone. Oh, Samson, look who's come to say hello. Oh. Whoa, inside crazy golf. That looks like fun on a chilly day like today. Oh, it is a cold day, isn't it? Oh, I know. Why don't you wrap Claude up for a cold day? Mm? See how many layers you can put on him. It's your basket, Samson. Good boy. And with Samson snug in his basket, why don't we go and cuddle up into the armchairs? Good idea. <laughs> So what's up with the Crazy Golf, Granny Murray? Well, it's the River Sea Fingal Crazy Golf Tournament today. Oh, is it really? Yes, I'm going to take the children and Samson along to watch. Oh, you <laughs> do amaze me, Granny Murray. Your interest knows no bounds. Oh, what do you mean? Well, fancy liking golf. Oh, why not? My Angus loved it. He played it in all weathers. He played in the sun and he played in the rain. Oh, with one of those great big golfing umbrellas. That's the one. <laughs> he even played it in the snow once too. Mm. I've never understood the game myself. All that hitting of balls into sand pits. Oh, but it's good exercise, eh? All that walking. Mm, I suppose. <laughs> Do you know, Angus and I went to play golf once on a cold winter's day. He was carrying his golf clubs and I was carrying a picnic basket and... Oh, well, it was quite a long walk and I was getting quite hot. As you would carrying a picnic. That's right. But eventually, when we arrived at the golf course, Angus tried to take out his clubs and they were frozen solid in the bag. Because I'd got so hot walking, I didn't realise how cold it really was. Oh, I don't believe it. Yes, it's true, you know. Sometimes it's colder than you think. <laughs> Oh, well, I don't think Claude is in any danger of freezing up. <laughs> oh. oh, you won't feel the cold through that lot, Claude. No, we must remember and wrap up warm like Claude when we go to see the crazy golf today. <laughs> oh, have fun, Samson. Uh, oh, yeah, Dr. Juno. Oh, oh, that's lovely. Thank you, Megan. You take that golf ball to remind you of where Samson's going today. I will. Now remember, sometimes it's colder than you think. Thank you, Granny Murray. See you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Dr Juno? Make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to where today Cycling through all the city views Ringing my bell and singing my song Pedaling my way as I cycle along Getting there is just so fine I so enjoy my cycling time I always go the way I know Can you show me the way I go? Hey! Okay, which way? Do I go left now? Do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Hey! Okay, left to the hospital. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that way. Hello, policeman. Hello, boss. <laughs> Hello, postman. Hello, shops. Hello, lamppost. Hello, stop. Which 
Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Hey! Okay, down. You told me the way to go. Thank you. You showed me the way I know. Thanks for that. So what's next? Oh yes, I better put my work clothes on. All scrubbed and ready to go. There, that will remind me of Samson having fun whilst I do some work. Four. Oh, Nurse Hendry, what's that about? Sorry, that's what you shout out when you whack a golf ball into the air. <laughs> oh, and it looks like somebody hit this ball a very long way. <laughs> Oi, that's mine. Granny Murray gave me this this morning and it arrived here in my pocket, not through the air. Granny Murray's into golf, is she? Apparently so. She's going to be watching the crazy golf tournament this afternoon. <laughs> well, I'll see her there then. What, you're going to be watching the tournament as well? Watching? No. Playing? Yes. I've got all my gear here and everything. See? Ta-da! Oh, wow. This is exciting. And look, you've even got a little woolly hat and everything. <laughs> oh, don't you wear this hat until I put a Harlequin Hospital badge on this. The badge will bring you good luck. Oh, thanks. Uh, you remember I'm knocking off early today? Uh-huh. Don't worry. Oh. Samson's gonna be watching Nurse Hendry play this afternoon. How cool is that? I love to skip in river mingle, river mingle by the sea. I love to skip in river mingle, river mingle, that's for me. Order, you need to keep moving to stay warm. So let's march on this spot and shake our hands. Now run fast as you can. Woohoo! And star jumps. Woo! -hoo. Are you warmer now, Megan? Yeah. Oh, so am I. Oh, I hope Dr. Juno's nice and warm where she is. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, but there's a friend of yours here and I really think you should take a look at him. OK. Who is it? It's Raymond. Okay. Well, hiya, Raymond. <laughs> What's happened? Oh, don't tell me. You fell off your stilts. <laughs> you slipped in a banana skin. You had to go up skateboarding. Doctor, do you know, I really don't think Raymond's very well. Oh, um, it's very shivery. Raymond, can you stop shivering for me, please? <sighs> oh, good. Can you tell me what happened? Well... I was changing trains, but I left my hat and my coat on the first train, and then I was standing around for ages waiting on the second train, but without my hat and coat. By the time the train did come along, I was not, not feeling too good. Well, it's a very cold day. You're left outside without your hat and coat. I think you might have mild hypothermia. Oh. But the fact that you could actually tell us what happened is a good sign. Oh. <laughs> I'll get him something to drink then. Just some warm water with some sugar. I'll phone Tina and tell her what's happened. Okay. Well, you sit tight, Raymond. You'll be fine. <laughs> Poor Raymond. Left outside without his hat and coat. But we'll take care of him. I better get down to some hard work. <laughs> it's so exciting in the hospital. It's where the people who are ill get well. Machines are buzzing to give us a thrill. I'm rushing here and there to be I'm rushing here and there to be here. It's so exciting in the hospital. Trolleys gliding patients through the corridors. Flashing blue lights right up to the door. I'm rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there. Oh, yeah. I'll be there to comfort you at all times. I'll be there to see all is fine I'll be there whenever I'm needed, yeah To hear the heartbeat beating time Don't worry, I'll always be kind I'll bring a smile and take away your worries, yeah Nurses and doctors, you must understand to hold
Ray. Oh, how's Raymond? Oh, uh, Lisa and Tina have come to visit him and he's back to his usual chatty self. Oh, that's a relief. Oh, so you're off? Yep, off to the crazy golf tournament. <sighs> Hole in one and the crowd go wild. Good luck, Nurse Hendry. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> oh, Samson and Granny Murray will be watching you. Oh, my wacky dog. I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. That's it, my darlings, eat up. It's important to get a good hot meal inside you before you go out into the cold. Keeps you warm from the inside out, <laughs> doesn't it, Samson? <laughs> he's got to keep warm too, even though he's got a lovely big coat. There we are, Samson. <laughs> I'll tell Dr. Juno what a good boy you are. <laughs> oh, right, Samson. I better get down to some work. Okay. Paper. Ooh. Paper. Paper. Oh, what's this? Oh, no. This is Nurse Hendry's woolly hat. Oh. I've been working hard all day looking after everyone, and now Nurse Henry's gone and left his woolly hat. How did this happen? Where did the time go? At nine o'clock, I arrived at Granny Murray's with Samson. The children were playing a game of crazy golf. They were playing indoors because it was cold outside. At ten o'clock, Nurse Henry popped in to tell me that he would be playing in the River Sea Finger Crazy Golf Tournament. He was planning on wrapping up nice and warm against the cold. I borrowed Nurse Henry's hat so I could stick a Harlequin Hospital badge on it. I thought it might bring him luck in the tournament. At 11 o'clock, we had a bit of an emergency. Raymond came into the hospital suffering from mild hypothermia. He'd been left waiting for a train without his coat and hat. He was cold and shivery and needed to be warmed up with a warm, sweet drink. At 2 o'clock, Nurse Henry came to tell me that Raymond was feeling much better. Nurse Henry left for the crazy golf tournament. At three o'clock, I realised that he set off for the tournament without his woolly hat, because I had it to stick on a badge. Now remember, sometimes it's colder than you think. Sometimes it's colder than you think. Well, today may be colder than Nurse Henry thinks. Well, I need to get his woolly hat to him because I don't want him to end up as shivery as Raymond. But it's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it, I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it, I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done. Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, it shows me how fast she will get there in the end because she knows what she should do. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Oh, let the tournament begin. <laughs> I better get back to work. I hope Samson has a great time at the crazy golf tournament. Must be a lucky hat. <laughs> oh, Samson, do you want to go? Oh, never mind, darling. We'll be going home soon, and Dr. Juno will be coming to pick you up. Dr. Juno, come away in. Samson, look Hello, who's Samson. here. Hello, Samson. Hey, good boy. Oh, look at that wagging tail. Samson wants to say thank you, Granny Murray. And thank you from me too. I remembered what you said. Sometimes it's colder than you think. It saved the day. Oh, gracious. Come on now. You want to be off. Come on, Samson. Bye-bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Samson. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was a 
pushing, walking, pushing, dancing, dancing, shooting, choosing, talking, cooking, drying, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <laughs> <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed in lots and lots of winter woolies because it was very cold outside today and we didn't want Claude getting chilly. Dr Juno came along with Samson. She saw that we'd been playing a made-up game of crazy golf. We played it inside because it was very cold out. I told Dr Juno that I was going to take Samson and the children along to see the River Sea Fingal Crazy Golf Tournament later on. After Dr Juno left for work, we wrapped up in our hats, scarves and gloves. We ran about outside for a while, but it was nice to come back into the warm. Later on, we had a good hot meal, so that when we went to see the crazy golf tournament, we'd be warm from the inside out. Dr Juno remembered that I told her, sometimes it's colder than you think. She took Nurse Hendry's hat along to the crazy golf tournament. He hadn't realised quite how cold it was without his hat, and he was very glad when Dr Juno brought it along. He even got a hole in one. Good old Dr Juno, keeping everybody well and warm. <laughs> I hope you're feeling well and warm today. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. She'd love to say hello to you. Me too! Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home to... Who's here today? Well, we've got Roger and we've got Decca. But don't just sit there, Pickles. <laughs> Come on, let's have some fun. What we're going to do is we'll cut out some pictures of lovely foods and we'll stick them on paper and Granny Murray will make a special recipe book. Can you do that for Granny Murray, darling? <gasps> will you look at this? We've got lovely soup. Oh, and ice cream. And beautiful pesto and tomato and potato salad. <laughs> oh, well, we've got Le and we've got Decca. Someone's missing from home today. Not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Money? Oh, it's Lisa. Yes, with Raymond. Hello there. <laughs> like fun. What's going on? Well, we've been cutting out pictures of different foods and sticking them on paper <laughs> to make Granny Murray's special recipe book. Oh, but now Lisa's here, we'll do something new. Come on, my treasures, let's dress Claude up as a chef. <laughs> and why don't we see what we can cook up over here? <laughs> going to do a spot of cooking with the children today. Oh, Lisa loves cooking. She's always <laughs> trying to make breakfast for me and Tina, and sometimes we even eat it. Oh. <laughs> but guess what? Me and Mickey John are off today on the ferry boat to see a market. Oh, <laughs> how exciting. Any special reason? Yep. See, I want to give the Boofy car an international feel, mm. so Mickey John's going to help me get some ideas for food and snacks that I can serve. Oh, we'll try and get some of the recipes. It's fun to find out how your favourite foods are made. Oh, and bonjour, Claude. <laughs> oh, Claude, you look great. You're an inspiration. <laughs> oh, well done, my angels. Here you are. Oh, is that for me, Lisa? Oh, a little heart. Well, I'll take that with me and think of you. And in return, I'll make sure I bring you back something extra special for my trip. Bye, Lisa. Right, I better get going. Oh, come on then. Now remember, it's fun to find out how our favourite foods are made. Thanks, Granny Murray. You guys have a fun day. Bye-bye, my darling. I'll be thinking of you. Oh, me too. <laughs> Will you keep a wee eye on Raymond and make sure he goes the right way to work? I'm on my way to work today Walking my shoes through the city views Stepping along, I'm swinging my arms Singing my way through the city's charms Getting there is just so fine I so enjoy my walking time
time I always know the way I go But can you show me the way I go? Hey! OK, which way? Do I go left now or do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Hey! OK, left to the station I'm on my way to work today Looking this way and that away Hello taxi Hello tank Hello trolley Hello plank Hello lorry Hello bank I go down. Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Ah. Up. You told me the way I go. Thank you. You showed me the way I know. Phew. Here we are. So what now? Ah yes. I have to get changed into my smart uniform. Dressed and ready to go. Now, eight o'clock. Mickey John will be here soon. I need to get a cool bag from this cupboard. Oh, <laughs> Lisa's heart. I'll take this with me on the ferry boat. Now, cool bag. Cool bag. Ah. Now, this will be perfect for bringing back all those treats from our trip. And I think I'll pack a few sandwiches for me and Mickey John to eat as we go. Now, cheese and pickle or ham salad? Cheese and pickle. <laughs> cheese and pickle it is then. <sighs> oh, bonjour, Raymond. I think we should go, unless you want to go to Drumtown instead. The train's about to leave. Right, I'll just pack our picnic. <laughs> oh. Hey, let's go. Oh, you took your time. <laughs> Sorry, love. We were just packing our cheese and pickle sandwiches for our journey. <laughs> OK, next stop, the ferry boat terminal. Tina's taxi is go. Don't worry, Lisa. I'll bring you back something really special from our trip. I love to skip the river sea thing, go river sea thing, go that's for me. Let's go shopping! <laughs> oh! Letters. <laughs> Mushrooms. <laughs> we need those. And tomatoes. Oh, thank you, my darling. Thanks, my angel. Off we go. Hello there. Where are you, Daddy? Fancy a sorry, Mickey John. Yeah, lovely. Got yourself a good seat there, Mickey John. Hiya. Hi, Raymond. Oh, hi, Chuck. I'm really looking forward to your show, guys. Well, it won't be long now. We're about to set sail. So it's time for the ferry boat band to get on with some hard work. Come on, Louie. Let's rock and roll. <laughs> And they play the ferry boat sails away Floating down the river to the ocean waves The captain steers his way as engine pound away Churning down the river to the rhythm of the band The radar swings, the very band sings The captain taps his satellite map Sailing out to sea on the noontime Clap your hands to the ferry boat band Wriggle to the rhythm of the engine beats Swing to the sway like the waves on the sand to the music and stamp your feet. As the ferry for band, they play the waiter's servant's way, clattering the trays to the splash of the waves. The sailors work away as passengers dream their day, eating in the buffet as the ferry band play. I'm sailing out to sea, riding on the waves, rocking to the ocean roar. As the ferry boat band did play some more. Your hand. 
dance to the ferry boat band Wriggle to the rhythm of the engine beats Swing to the sway like the waves on the sand Bob to the music and stamp your feet Clap your hands to the ferry boat band Wriggle to the rhythm of the engine beats Swing to the sway like the waves on the sand Bob to the music and stamp your feet Wake up, Mickey John, we're what? here! What? Oh, Belgium! Are your taste buds tingling? Oh, mine are. I can't wait to taste all that Belgian food. Well, just follow your nose. (laughs) (laughs) What incredible smells. Yeah. Let's go and find out what they all are. Lisa would love all these fantastic smells. I love to sniff in River Sea Pinkle, River Sea Pinkle, that's for me. We need some of our herbs. We've got basil and parsley. Have a wee sniff. Pull some leaves off. That's it. Pop, pull a wee leaf. Good girl. Pop. Pop. And a wee bit parsley. Mm. <laughs> now stir it all up and let Granny Murray have a wee smell to see how it's coming on. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> well, I hope some of the recipes that your dad brings back smell as good as this, Lisa. <laughs> Are you having fun, Daddy? See how many different snacks you can count. <laughs> these would be perfect to sell in the buffy car. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Um, can I have one of these, please? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ooh, four o'clock. Nearly time for us to get back on the ferry and go home. Right. Well, I think I've got enough great food ideas for the buffy car. Oh, no. Oh, I've spent so much time following smells and collecting food ideas, I've forgotten to get a special treat for Lisa. What am I going to do? I can't let her down. Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I dropped off Lisa at Granny Murray's. She helped dress up Claude as a chef because Granny Murray was going to do some cooking today. I told her I was going to Belgium with Mickey John to find out about different foods to serve in the buffy car. At eight o'clock, I went to work to pick up a cool bag to bring the Belgian food home with me. I met Mickey John and we packed a picnic to take with us. At nine o'clock, Tina drove us to the ferry boat in her taxi. At 10 o'clock, we got to the ferry boat and I saw Louie and Chuck getting ready to play. At two o'clock, we arrived in Belgium. At three o'clock, me and Mickey John sniffed our way around the market and found all sorts of delicious foods and different snacks. And the chocolate shop smelled lovely. At four o'clock, Mickey John showed me a wonderful shop full of amazing snacks. I knew my customers in the buffy car would love them, so I filled my cool bag with as many as I could cram in. But I forgot something really important. I forgot to get a special treat for Lisa. Now remember, it's fun to find out how our favourite foods are made. It's fun to find out how our favourite foods are made. Well, one of Lisa's favourite foods is chocolate. I've got it. Mickey John, can you take us back to that place where we first smelled the chocolate? Oh, (laughs) thank you. Right, it's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song Do we think he's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? He's the sure we are friends, he will get there in the end Because he knows what he should do, I'm working through I've got to do it, he's going to do it I've got to do it 
the clock before the chime I've got to sort it He's going to sort it I've got to do the job on time Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song <sighs> <laughs> We're on our way home and <laughs> Smell that Ah, oh, lovely. <laughs> can we have one, please? Well, no, those are for Lisa, but you can have one of these. Oh. Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to give Lisa her chocolates. But all that he could see, 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 was the bottom of the deep blue sea. sea. <laughs> I want to be with you, Daddy. Granny Murray. Look who's here, Lisa. Give Hi, your Lisa. daddy a hug. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. Bonjour, <laughs> <le monde. laughs> did, did you enjoy your trip abroad? Oh, it was fantastic. Look what I brought for you, Lisa. <gasps> one for you oh. and one for Granny Murray. <laughs> oh, thank you, sweetie. Did you have fun with Granny Murray? We had a fab time. <laughs> and are you going to say thank you? Thank you. <laughs> it's a pleasure, Angel. <laughs> and it's a big thank you to you from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. It's fun to find out how our favourite foods are made. Uh -huh. It saved the day. <laughs> oh, well, I never did. <laughs> Come on, you two. You'll want to be off home. <laughs> Come on. Looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Lisa. Let's talk about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too? Well, there was playing, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, digging, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <laughs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a chef because we were going to do some cooking. First, we went to the supermarket to buy the ingredients. We bought everything we needed to make pasta with sauce and crunchy salad. Mmm, delicious. When we got back to my kitchen, me and the children all put on chef's hats. We had a brilliant time making lots of pasta sauces and crunchy salad. It smelt gorgeous and it tasted even better. All that cooking was worth it because it's fun to find out how our favourite food is made. And Raymond found out how one of Lisa's favourite things is made. Chocolate. And that was delicious too. What a brilliant day. I hope you enjoyed yourself. <laughs> Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Ellie and we've got Sean. But don't just sit there, tiddlywinks. Come on, let's get up on our feet. You put your right hand in, your right hand out. In, out, in, out, shake it all about. You put your whole self in. Your whole self out, your whole self in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey cokey and you turn around, and that's what it's all about. See? Whoa! Hokey cokey cokey! Whoa! Hokey cokey cokey! Whoa! Hokey cokey cokey! Knees bent, arms set, ra ra ra! Hey! <laughs> Well, we've got Ellie and we've got Sean, but someone's missing from home today. Come on, Kai. Not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, yes, it's Bobby and Kai. Hello there. Bobby, Hi, hello. And <laughs> Kai, my pleasure. Come away through and see everyone. Oh, we're puffed out. Oh. We were just 
having a dance. <gasps> Tina and Raymond are going to be dancing tonight, live from River Sea Fingal on Midnight Dancing. Oh, I know it's great, isn't it? Here, why don't you dress Claude up as a ballroom dancer? Oh, hey, Granny Murray, would you like this dance? Oh, I'd be honoured. <laughs> <laughs> La 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 Bobby! You swept me right off my feet. <laughs> oh, I love dancing. And do you know what? So does Kai. Well, he must be a big fan of Raymond and Tina and their dance routines. Yeah, he's a huge fan. In fact, could he stay up tonight to watch them strut their stuff on Midnight Dancing? Well, of course he can, if I can stay up that late. <laughs> oh, imagine that being live on telly. <gasps> I'd be dead nervous if it was me. Do you know, I was on the television once. You know my Angus? Well, he used to be in a big band. It was his band, actually. <laughs> anyway, I sang. <laughs> wow, Granny Murray! <gasps> imagine singing that in front of a big band. And on TV. I don't know how you did it. <laughs> well, some things are easier than you think. <laughs> oh, look at Claude. He looks like he's all ready to waltz us off to the ball. <laughs> Excuse me, Claudia. <laughs> oh, you look ever so smart there, Claude. Oh, you look like a real charmer. Well done, everyone. Here you go, Mummy. Oh, is this for me? Yeah. Thanks. I'm going to look very smart at work tonight. <laughs> now, listen. You be a good boy for Granny Murray, and I'll see you in the morning. Oh, no night. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> now remember, some things are easier than you think. Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Yeah, me too. Well, you keep a wee eye on Bobby. Make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm on my way. To work today, walking my shoes through the city views. I'm stepping along, I'm swinging my arms. I'm singing my way through the city's charms. Getting there is just so fine. I so enjoy my walking time. I always know the way I go, but can you show me the way? Okay, which way? Do I go left now or do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Right! Okay, that way. To the bus depot. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Oh, hello, Digger. Hello, Drain. Oh, hello, lamppost. Hello, Drain. Hello, post box. Oh, hello, plane. She's on her way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hey! Do I go up now or do I go down? Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Ah! OK, that way, up the steps. You told me the way I go. Thank you. You showed me the way. Thanks for helping me get to work, but now I need to get busy. Yep, it's time to put on my work clothes. All dressed and ready to go. Cooey! Oh, Dr Juno! And Chuck too! Where are you going to all dressed up and showing out? To the ferry boat, of course. For tonight's episode of Midnight Dancing! Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> wow, it's going to be so good. Oh, we're going to be dancing there. Step, step, cha-cha-cha. Step, 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 cha-cha. <laughs> hey, that was cha-cha-cha-tastic. <laughs> but um, if you don't mind me saying, when you're doing the cha-cha-cha, remember to give it a little bit more. Va -va -va. Ooh, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> Try it. Step, step, cha-cha-cha. Step, step, va -va -va. <laughs> Well, we better get going. Don't want to miss anything. Oh, go on, on you go. Hey, and don't forget. Step, step, va va voo. <laughs> oh, I wonder what my little va va voo is up to. <laughs> I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle. That's for me. Look, Kai, 
Granny Murray's made for us. <laughs> it's salad dancers. I think they're doing the tango. Do you like my wee ladies here? Watch this. Da 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 da. <laughs> and what about your man? Do you like him? He's got a nice straight carrot back. Mmm. I love radishes. They're so crunchy. <laughs> You know, you have to eat your salad if you want to be a good dancer, like Raymond and Tina and your mum, don't you? <laughs> Are you having fun, Mummy? I'm meant to be doing the midnight dancing show with them on the ferry boat. They've already gone. They wanted to make sure that they got there in plenty of time. Cool. Hey, nice tie. And the way you wear it is a little like. Cool! <laughs> oh, good luck with the show tonight. Kai's hoping to watch it over at Granny Maury's, but I've got to work. Well, I'm sure Kai will be able to tell you all about it. I'll see you later. ta -ra, Louis. Oh, well, time for me to get on with some work. Bobby Boogie Woogies as she cleans and mops the bosses. Sponging with a squeegee, sweeping rubbish with her brushes. Shining up the headlamps for the night time show. Bright and beaming buses by. Dazzle the day away Swinging to the city looking pretty and radiant The hubcaps gleam, the paintwork shines A river sea double decker looks so fine The driver she drives, collecting the fares Leaving then arriving she will get you there This bus is stopping from picking up and putting down This bus is shining, it's the talk of the town And Bobby Boogie Woogie's flipping over, flipping under Running round and scrubbing up, she really is a wonder Sticking up the posters as she wobbles on her toes. And Bobby walks the moonwalk as she robs and wipes the windows. Dusting through the starlight, adding sparkle as she goes. Polishing the buses so they'll all be gleaming for the day ahead. Bobby! Oh, oh wow, well, Tina, oh. you look amazing, but be careful. You're going to get stuff on your dress. <laughs> Wait a sec. Aren't you supposed to be on the ferry boat for tonight's midnight dancing? Yes, but it's not quite time yet. Please, may I wait here? Yeah, yeah, of course you can, Tina, love. I was going to have a break anyway. Getting a little nervous about tonight. But you've been on stage lots of times before. I know, I know. It's just... I wish we were dancing with Foxtrot. I'm quite good at that. <laughs> Oh, I wish we were jiving. Oh, Tina Robertson rocks when it comes to the jiving. <laughs> Tina, be careful of you. Oh. <laughs> Yay, me! <laughs> but we're not doing any of that. Raymond and I are dancing a waltz. Oh, I'm sure you'll be absolutely brilliant, Tina. Hey, my little boy Kai can't wait to see you on the telly. <laughs> hey, I wonder if he's still awake. <laughs> it's nearly time for your programme to come on, Kai. Are you OK? Mm. I wonder how your mum's getting on. Are you cleaning all the buses, Mummy? All right, Tina, love. I'm going to get back to work. <sighs> oh, please, can I stay here, Bobby? I don't want to go midnight dancing. Why not? I just don't. Well, you can stay here for as long as you like, Tina, love, but I've really got to get back to work. What 
am I going to do? I've still got loads of work to do, but I've got Tina here all upset and my little boy waiting to see Tina on the telly. Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I took Kai to stay with Granny Murray. I told Granny Murray all about how Kai loved to see Tina and Raymond dancing. I asked Granny Murray if she wouldn't mind staying up late with Kai to watch a special television show, Midnight Dancing, coming live from the ferry boat in River Sea Fingal. Kai gave me a bow tie a bit like Claude's and I set off to my work. At eight o'clock, Dr Juno and Chuck stopped by. They were very excited to be appearing on Midnight Dancing. They showed me how they were going to dance and I showed them how to put the va va voom into their cha-cha-cha. At nine o'clock, I did some hard work but I stopped when Tina called in at the bus depot. Tina was nervous about dancing a waltz with Raymond live on television. She wished that she could do another sort of a dance. Now remember, some things are easier than you think. Some things are easier than you think. Of course. Tina's obviously forgotten how easy it is to waltz. So, I have just got to remind her. Come on, Tina. I'm going to help you with your waltz. <laughs> it's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, for sure. Teacher, I could dance, dance, dance all night. Oh, I just can't wait to go on midnight dancing. Hey, well, you better get a move on. Go on, hurry up, team. <laughs> one, two, one, two, one, two. Oh, oh, it's nearly midnight. I hope my little boy's still awake for midnight dancing. <laughs> this week, midnight dancing comes live from the ferry boat in Riversea Thingle. And first on to the dance floor are that delightful couple, Raymond and Tina. Your mummy will waltz in here in the morning and pick you up. I'm thinking of you, mummy. Bobby, hello. Hi, Hi Bobby. Bobby. Your mum's here, Kai. Hi, Kai. <laughs> Hello, Mummy. Oh! <laughs> you look like you've had a smashing time. Oh, we sure have. Are you going to say thanks to Granny Murray? Thanks. Bye bye, my treasure. <laughs> and thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Some things are easier than you think. Save the day. It never did. <laughs> Come on, let's get you home. Come on, Kai, let's go. Ah. Absolutely. Looking forward to next time. Me too. Right, come on, Kai. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was hugging, squishing, rocking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shading, choosing, talking, cooking, drying, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, using things and rushing round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a ballroom dancer 
because Tina and Raymond were going to be on midnight dancing. Bobby called by with Kai and asked if I wouldn't mind staying up late with Kai so we could watch Tina and Raymond. Bobby left for work with a ballroom dancer's bow tie. While Bobby was busy at the bus depot, I made Kai a special tea. A salad in the shape of a pair of ballroom dancers. Meanwhile, Bobby was having a tough time reminding Tina that some things are easier than you think. Bobby and Tina waltzed all around the bus depot until Tina felt much better. At midnight, Kai and I watched Tina and Raymond dance a wonderful waltz on TV. <gasps> it was glorious. Bye-bye. She'd love to say hello to you. Me too! Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Molly and we've got Hope. But don't just sit there, my wee cherry buns. Come on, what's in Granny Murray's shelves today? Let's have a wee look, girls. We can see the world through different colours. Oh, I love red. Let's have a look. Oh, wow, see, Molly? What about yours, Hope? Do you hold yours up? Oh, how do you see the world, Hope? Oh, it's like the sunshine. It's like the sunshine, darling, so it is. What about yours, Molly? It's blue and you think that I'm under the sea. You think you're under the sea? <laughs> well, we've got Hope and we've got Molly. But someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Money? Oh, it's Mickey John with Rebecca. Hello there. Hello. 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 Oh, girls, what are you up to? We've been looking through these wee coloured windows, seeing the world through different colours. Oh, try this one, Mickey John. All right. Oh, everything looks golden yellow now. Like the sky when I woke up this morning, that looked golden yellow too. Oh, why was that? Oh, I don't know. You'll have to ask the professor about that one. You? You always say ask the professor when you don't know the answer to things. <laughs> I don't know. But now you're here, Rebecca. Let's dress Claude up as a wise old professor. And you, Mickey Brainbox John, can take a seat over with the chairs. Oh, I don't know. You might have to ask the professor about that one. Oh! <laughs> 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 You're a right tease, Mickey John. So you are. <laughs> Do you know, you don't know the answer to half the things, but you get away with it or you make up some nonsense. What? That's not true. Well, not all the time. But just sometimes, well, things are a bit complicated. Not because you're a muddlehead. <gasps> How dare you, madam? I know the answer to lots of things. Just isn't always that easy to explain. Well, if you know the answer, you can make it simple. Oh, do you really think so? Yes. What do you make of that, Professor? <laughs> Ah, see, now we do have a professor to ask. So, Professor, can you tell us about the colour of the sun at dawn? Hello, Professor, anyone there? Oh, well, he is a professor. He's just taking a long time to think about the question. <laughs> oh, thank you, sweetheart. A picture of the sun. Oh, that'll keep me happy all day. Thanks, Rebecca. <laughs> bye bye. Have fun with Granny Murray. Come on. <laughs> Now remember, if you know the answer, you can make it simple. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. You keep a wee eye on Mickey John. Make sure he goes the right way to work. Oh, I don't have much time. How can I speed across the river to work? <laughs> That's right. Thanks. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. I'll take it, take it, take it on a speedboat. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry down the river. Splashing, splashing, splashing through the waves. Whining, whining, whining drives the speed up. Chugga, chugga, chugga slows us down. Rocking, rocking, rocking to the dock now. Splashing, splashing to our stop. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speak to work. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. 
And hurry, 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 put my tie on. All dressed and ready to go. The sun has got his hat on. Hip, 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 hooray. Oh, and there's Mickey John Kai. <laughs> Hello, Kai. Hello, Bobby. Have you come to look round the school? Yes. Yeah, yeah, one of the older children is going to be Kai's buddy and show him around. Oh, yes, I've asked Sean to look after you. He'll be here soon. And then he'll show you all the exciting things we do in the school. <laughs> and can you tell Kai what sort of things? Oh, yes. Well, today I'm teaching my class about night and day. Now, when it's light, that's day. And when it's dark, that's night time. How does it get dark? Oh, that's a very complicated question. How does it get light? Oh, that's another very complicated question. I think I'll have to ask the professor about that one. <laughs> you see, you'll learn all sorts of interesting things when you come to school. Oh, look, there's Sean waiting for you. Oh, OK, well, off you go, Kai. Have a great time and I'll come and pick you up at lunchtime. Oh. Bye, Mummy. Bye. <laughs> Oh, my grown-up boy. Will he be all right? He'll be right as rain, happy as a sunbeam. Sean will look after him. See you later, Bobby. <laughs> OK, see ya. Ah, I hope you're happy, my little sunbeam. I love to skip in river sea thing, river sea thing, oh, that's for me. Ooh, wow! Have you seen one of these before, Cupcakes? Do you know what it is? It's a sundial. How it works is, on a sunny day, the sun casts a shadow on this wee bit here and the shadow points to the numbers on the dial and tells us the time. Oh, your daddy would love one of these at home, wouldn't he, Rebecca? Yeah. What are you doing now, daddy? Oh, there goes the bell and here comes my class. That's it, in you come. Quick march, come on, let's have you. Oh, we've got a lot to get through this morning. Good morning, everyone. Good Settle morning. down. <laughs> right, today we're going to learn all about Mr. Smiley Sun. <laughs> ah, I mean the sun and what it does. And we're also going to learn about night and day. But first, we need to learn a bit about the world. This is the world. And this is Riversea Fingal. So, where do we fit on the world? I'll tell you. Oh, where's the Rissy Fingal? <laughs> oh, there it is. Good job. Right. There it goes there. Now, I want you all to look at the world and see if you can draw what shape you think it is. Go on, then. Get out your pens. Now, what shape is the world? Oh, I've seen some good shapes here. Let's have a look. Excellent. You've all got it right. You've drawn the world as a circle. That's right. Ha! So far, so good. But now it's time to get down to some really hard work. Oh, I walk with joy when I go to school in the morning. Teaching with my chums and see the children learning. School day, work away. I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching. I'm teaching, learning, teaching, learning, teaching. School day, work away. Teaching to count and teaching to read Learn about birds and plants and seeds Playing games and sports outdoors Blowing my whistle and keeping a score day, I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching We're learning, learning, learning when he's teaching School day, work away Oh, the secretary's smiling as she does her organising The Johnny fixes, the cookie mixes And the cleaner keeps her shining Oh, what a joy when I go to school in the morning in the dinner queue while the cookie cooks and serves us stew answering the questions where and why how does it work and how does it fly I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching He's learning, learning, learning when he's teaching School day, work away All the children peep and eye me as they sit and try their writing I take a look I mark their books The good ones get a smiley Joy when I go to school in the morning. Ah, well done, everyone. It's been a good morning's work. Oh, right, off you go and have lunch. I'll be back ready this afternoon to learn more about night and day. Hi, teacher. 
I've brought you an apple. Oh, hi, Doctor. Do you know what you're up to? Well, I've been around all the classes handing out fruit, all part of my healthy eating campaign. Oh, I see. Jolly good. There you go. One bit of fruit with your lunch. Oh, thanks very much. Hmm. It's not got a maggot in it, if that's what you're thinking. Oh, no, 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 Dr Juno, I was just thinking. What does it remind you of, floating in space? An apple. No, it's our very own world, the blue planet. It's not blue, it's a red delicious. Anyway, I'm due back at the hospital. Oh, oh. make sure you actually eat your blue planet, all right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope you're having fun, Rebecca. I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. One beautiful day in River Sea Fingal, the sun came out and all the little bunny rabbits came out of their burrows. <laughs> they were eating the grass and resting in the sun, but all too soon the sun went down and it was night time. And what comes out at night time? Moon. The moon. And an owl came flying by. What did the owl say? Get get up. Wait, Settle down, no? <laughs> Fantastic. Right, this afternoon I'm going to tell you all about night and day. Now, when it gets dark at night, we all go to bed and lots of animals come out that don't come out during the day, like uh, mice, badgers, foxes and owls. Twit twoo! <laughs> then, in the morning, when the sun comes up, the birds start singing and we all get out of bed. There, night and day. What is night? Oh, that's a good question. Night's when it's dark. How does it get dark? Oh, that's quite a complicated question. I, I think we'll need to ask the professor about that one. How does it get light? I think we'll have to ask the professor about that one too. Right, any more questions? No, good. Can we ask the professor a question, please? <laughs> Oh dear, I've been working hard all day preparing my lesson about night and day, but when the children ask questions like, what is night and what is day, I can't think of an easy answer. Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I dropped Rebecca off at Granny Murray's house. We talked about how the sun changes the colour of the sky, and she asked me why it happens. I wasn't sure how to explain, so I told her to ask the professor. At eight o'clock, I got to work. Bobby brought in Kai to look around the school. I told him about the things we learn in class, like about night and day. He asked me some questions and I wasn't sure how to explain the answer, so I told him to ask the professor. At nine o'clock, my class came in and we learned about the world. Then at 12 o'clock, my class went off for lunch. Dr. Juno came around with a fruit trolley. There was one apple left for me. I thought it looked like the world, floating in space. At one o'clock, my class came back from lunch. I started to tell them the difference between night and day, but they didn't quite get it and asked lots of questions, and I can't explain them easily. What am I going to do? Now remember, if you know the answer, you can make it simple. If you know the answer, you can make it simple. Well, I do know the answer, so I just have to think of a way to make it simple. I got an idea. It's a race against time. I gotta do it, I gotta do it I gotta beat the clock before the chime I gotta sort it, I gotta sort it I gotta do the job on time Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? He's the surest way of friends, he will get there in the end Because he knows what he should do I'm gonna do it. He's gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. He's gonna start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. I like a busy bee. I'm gonna beat that bomb. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Right, everyone. Now this is the world, and this here is River Sea Fingal. That's where we live. Now, can someone come up and spin the world for me? Up you come. That's it. Give it a good twirl. Now, the world is always spinning like this. And sometimes, stop that there, River Sea Fingal is facing towards the sun, and the sunlight shines down on it, and that's daytime. Now, give it another spin. Stop it there. And sometimes, River Sea Fingal is facing away from the sun, which means the sunlight can't hit it, and that's nighttime, see? 
So, do we all understand the difference between night and day? Yes! Great. So, we don't have to ask the professor anymore. No, we won't. Ah, oh, I wonder how you're getting on, my little ray of sunshine. Who wants to play the light and dark game? Me! Me too. Right, are you ready to dance about? And then when the music stops, hide under the blankets, OK? Go! <laughs> oh, good dancing, girls. <laughs> and stop! Oh, quick! Quick as a flash! <laughs> well done, girls. <laughs> and start! Stop! <laughs> ah! I tricked you! <laughs> oh, Rebecca, my darling, we'd better watch our time. Your dad will be here to take you home soon. <laughs> Hi, Granny Murray. Ha ha, come oh. my way through. Rebecca, Daddy's here. Ah, hello, beautiful girl. Hello, Daddy. Oh, looks like you've had a lovely time. Yeah. Oh, we certainly did. It was a pleasure. Thank you, Granny. Oh, my special girl. <laughs> You're good as gold. And it's thanks from me too, Granny Murray. You're saying if you know the answer, you can make it simple. Save the day. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> come on, you two. Ho, ho. <laughs> Too. Come on, Rebecca, let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too? Well, there was playing, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, digging, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a professor because we wondered why the sun makes the sky different colours through the day. Mickey John couldn't explain, so he told us to ask the professor, <laughs> the silly onion. I took the children to the park and we found a sundial. It's a special clock that tells the time using the sun. When we got home, we made night and day shadows and I told the children a story. Later, we played the light and dark game and hid under blankets. I had to explain the rules, but I made them simple so the children could understand. And that's just what Mickey John did in his class too. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie.